another delicious episode of Mustard Temper Dreams. I am Neha and today I'm making a tasty and juicy potato curry called Raswale Alu. This is one of my favorite curries. It's so easy to make and so delicious. It's spicy, it's tangy and full of flavors. This curry is also known as Station Wali Alu Ki Sabzi as it's commonly served with puris on railway stations across North India and is a very popular meal amongst travelers. So let's go make this deliciously juicy Ras Wale Alu and make sure to check out the list of ingredients in the description below. Before we start cooking, I'm going to coarsely pound half a teaspoon of fennel seeds and half a teaspoon of nigella seeds or kalonji in this mortar pestle. To make the raswale alu, I'm going to start by adding about 3 tablespoons of oil in this pan. When the oil becomes hot, I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and the pounded fennel and the nigella seeds. Then I'll add one bay leaf and a deseeded dry red chilli. And finally I'll add one fourth teaspoon of hing or asafoetida. Now we'll stir this tempering for a few seconds just till the spices start becoming aromatic. Then we'll add 2 to 3 chopped green chilies and a tablespoon of finely chopped ginger. We'll saute this till the ginger cooks and becomes light brown in color. Now we'll add in half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons of red chilli powder and 1 and a half teaspoons of coriander powder. We'll give this a quick stir and immediately add about half a cup of water to prevent the spices from burning. As the water comes to a boil, we'll add in about 2 medium sized diced tomatoes. We'll cook the tomatoes till they begin to soften and then add some salt to taste. We'll mix in the salt and then add half a teaspoon of sugar. Next, I'm going to add the potatoes. Now here I have three boiled potatoes that I've peeled and cubed. Thoroughly mix in the potatoes till they are nicely coated all over. Now we'll add in 1 cup of water. We'll mash up a few potatoes with the back of the spoon to help the gravy thicken up a little bit. As the gravy comes to a simmer, we'll give it a taste and adjust the seasoning if required. Now we'll cover and cook our beautiful raswale alu on low heat for about 5 to 7 minutes. Wow, just look at how beautiful and juicy our potato curry is looking. Finally, we'll garnish our raswale alu with a generous amount of chopped cilantro. Tasting time! Mmm! 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 So good! Mmm! You have to make this raswale alu. Well, this curry goes best with puris, you can even enjoy it with rotis, parathas, or even rice. Let me know what you think of this recipe in the comments below. And don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to Mustard Temper Dreams. See you next week. Bye!